Focus your faith. Focus your faith. Notice in verse 12, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me, there it is again, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do. No way. Way. And greater works than these. Come on, Jesus. Nobody's going to do any greater works than you've done. Yes, you will. No, no, we won't. That can't be possible. It is possible, if you think about it. Now, we don't do greater miracles than Jesus did, but maybe in God's eyes, the salvation of a lost person is a greater miracle than someone's eyes being healed. Jesus only ministered for three years. He never traveled more than walking distance from where he was born. He reached a few thousand What a, what a kind thing for him to say. Nothing, we've never done anything that wasn't him doing it anyway. But he says to his disciples, you're gonna do greater works than me. You're gonna do works that are gonna touch the world. You're gonna reach thousands of people. You're gonna serve me for a lifetime. And this will help. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, note the repetition, in my name, in my name. That's supposed to sort out all the silly prayers. And uh, we ask for many things without regard for Jesus because we want to please ourselves and not him. And the phrase in Jesus' name, come on, worship team. The phrase in Jesus' name is not a silly little add-on to a prayer. You get to the end of your prayer in Jesus' name, amen. It is actually the filter through which all God-answered prayers flow. When I say in Jesus' name, I say not my will but yours, not my glory but yours, not my purpose but yours. In Jesus' name is the filter that picks out the gnats of my nonsense prayers and gets me in the end only praying for what honors God, what he deems best in the end. So, there you have them. Five freedoms from a troubled heart. May it be so. Let's pray together.